Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. We are filled with joy to have this opportunity to connect with you through our channel. Our deepest aspiration is to provide you with content that will profoundly impact your spiritual journey. We pray to God, through the intercession of Jesus Christ, to graciously hear our requests, granting us divine guidance. Before we delve into our main message, we kindly ask for your support by expressing your appreciation for this video through likes and subscribing to our channel, ensuring that you stay informed about the latest spiritual insights. Now, let's begin by offering our heartfelt prayers as a sincere demonstration of our unwavering love and devotion to the Almighty. O beloved Lord, I humbly stand before your divine presence, with a heart full of deep humility, seeking your limitless grace and unswerving guidance. Fill every part of my being with your immeasurable love and unwavering wisdom, enabling me to walk steadfastly on your righteous path and fulfill the glorious purpose you have lovingly ordained for my life. Grant me unwavering strength during challenging times and inner peace amidst the mysterious uncertainties that surround me. May your supreme will resonate harmoniously in every aspect of my existence, weaving a tapestry of divine providence. In your holy name, I offer this fervent prayer. Amen. Now we will listen to the message of St. Michael to Gisela. By God's grace and mercy, I possess the gift of prophetic dreams and visions, which often come to pass as God reveals them to me. Some past dreams included the September 2001 terror attacks in New York and the 2007 post-election violence in Kenya that claimed over a thousand lives. All glory goes to God for using me, I am merely a humble vessel chosen by God. I am no more special than any of you. If God can use me, He can use you or anyone else as His vessel. However, you must live a holy and God-fearing life for God to work through you as His vessel. You must deny yourself, carry your cross, and follow Jesus Christ. I had a profound prophetic dream that left me shaken. In the dead of night, I felt God's powerful presence drawing near. I sensed His anointing descending upon me, from the crown of my head to my entire being. Trembling in His presence, I experienced His anger toward the sinful world that has rejected Jesus Christ. I couldn't escape God's presence, and as I sought a way out, I found myself trapped. My very life was in jeopardy as I stood before God's awe-inspiring and powerful presence. Thanks to God's mercy and protection, I endured this mighty and frightening visitation. Then, God spoke to me about the greatest and most powerful nation on earth. For specific reasons, I won't mention its name. God referred to it as, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and of the abominations of the earth, as written in Revelation 17 verse 5. He also mentioned it in Revelation 18. God called me to be a messenger, just as He called and sent Old Testament prophets like Moses, Jeremiah, and Ezekiel. God tasked me with warning the people living within Babylon, both native and foreign, to repent and flee. However, God revealed that most would reject this prophecy, just as they rejected His previous messengers. In the dream, God emphasized that even if they rejected me and the prophecy, I must deliver it because, eventually, they would acknowledge that God sent His prophet. Therefore, I have chosen to share this prophecy. God instructed me to warn the people in Babylon, including foreigners who fear Him, to prepare to leave because the time of Babylon's destruction is imminent. The seriousness of God's message left me breathless, trembling, and in awe. It was a solemn warning that demands our utmost attention. I felt God's wrath and the urgency of the hour, signaling that something catastrophic loomed over this nation, revered by all. Though God did not reveal the exact nature, timing, or manner of this impending fall, He repeated with unwavering authority, 
tell them to prepare to leave. They must prepare to leave and begin making preparations immediately. They must leave. This directive resonated with Revelation 18 verses 4 to 5, where God implores His righteous people to flee Babylon to avoid sharing in its sins and iniquities. God then revealed a vision of a colossal structure resembling Babylon's hanging gardens and palaces built by King Nebuchadnezzar. This structure morphed into an image reminiscent of the Tower of Babel, then the Greek Pyramid of Giza. To my astonishment, it transformed into a statue made of sand that abruptly crumbled, covering the ground with dust. The dream concluded. I believe God conveyed this dream to emphasize that great kingdoms and empires rise and fall, and no nation, empire, or kingdom is indispensable except the kingdom of God and His beloved Son, Jesus Christ. I believe a similar sudden collapse awaits mystery Babylon the Great. I pray that God grants you wisdom and grace to comprehend the message of the Holy Spirit to the churches and nations. The return of Jesus Christ is imminent. If you lack a relationship with Jesus Christ, it is crucial to humble yourself, repent, turn from sin, and accept Him as your Savior. Hebrews 12 verses 25 to 28 warns us not to disregard God's voice from heaven, as judgment cannot be escaped. God also promised to shake everything in these last days. See to it that you do not refuse Him who speaks. If they did not escape when they refused Him who warned them on earth, how much less will we, if we turn away from Him who warns us from heaven? At that time His voice shook the earth, but now He has promised, Once more I will shake not only the earth but also the heavens. The words once more indicate the removing of what can be shaken that is, created things so that what cannot be shaken may remain. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful, and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. I understand some may feel financially constrained and unable to flee. Rest assured that God is in control. He loves and will never forsake you. The safest refuge is in the Lord Jesus Christ, the Rock of Ages. If you are born again and walk in righteousness, the Lord Himself will protect and deliver you when the time comes. Just as He rescued the Israelites from Egypt and parted the Red Sea in Exodus, saved Lot from Sodom's destruction, and preserved Noah from the Great Flood, He will provide a way when there seems to be none. Dear Lord, we come before you with humble hearts, seeking your grace and guidance. We are grateful for the blessings you bestow upon us each day. Please forgive our shortcomings and help us grow in faith and righteousness. Grant us strength to face life's challenges, wisdom to make the right choices, and compassion to love one another as you have loved us. Bless our families, friends, and those in need. Heal the sick, comfort the afflicted, and bring hope to the despairing. May your light shine in our hearts, dispelling darkness and fear. Help us to be instruments of your peace and love in a troubled world. Guide our leaders with wisdom and compassion, and may justice and fairness prevail. Lord, we thank you for the gift of life and the promise of eternal life with you. In your holy name, we offer this prayer, trusting in your boundless mercy and love. Amen.